Hi, I'm Lancelot Pinto. I'm a chest physician at the PD Hinduja Hospital uh, and the Hinduja Healthcare Hospital at Kar uh, Bombay. I'm a respirologist by training and uh, an epidemiologist as well with a keen interest in tuberculosis. So what is the current recommended regimen for drug sensitive TB? The current recommended regimen involves four drugs in the intensive phase and three or two drugs in the continuation phase based on whether or not one has a drug susceptibility profile. So if, let's assume you do not have a drug susceptibility profile, you would give a combination of isoniazid, rifampicin, pyrazinamide and ethambutol in the, in the initial stage or the intensive phase of two months. And then you would come down by one drug, you would stop the pyrazinamide, but continue three drugs in the next continuation phase of four months. So why three drugs? Because the prevalence of isoniazid monoresistance in our country is reasonably high. It's somewhere between 10 to 30%. And if we do not give three drugs in the continuation phase, we would potentially be exposing the patient to monotherapy with rifampicin if he is isoniazid monoresistant. This is why we choose to give three drugs in the continuation phase if we do not have a drug susceptibility profile available. If we do have a drug susceptibility profile available and uh, the individual harbors a strain which is susceptible to all four first line drugs, we can de-escalate after two months to just two drugs, which is rifampicin and isoniazid for the next four months. The drugs and dosages, are, and you could have a look at, at, at the table, which gives you an idea of what the optimal drugs and dosages are. Dosages are calculated based on the person's body weight. So it's very important to know what an individual's body weight is before deciding the regimen. Uh, else you are likely to under or overdose an individual, thereby exposing a person either to low levels of the drug or an increased risk of adverse drug reactions if the drug levels are too high.